Hill's journal. Can we hope to crush Catherick Thorm into Moonrise Towers? I have no doubt. We ended here and now. In the past day, we journeyed deep into the Gauntlet of Shar. With all its grand architecture, it inspired nothing in me. Inside, we found the wretched necromancer Balthazar and his putrid minions. For all his hubris, he fell to my blade. Vengeance was done. Close by, we found a devil. Clever and cunning, we struggled only for a moment. And so Raphael's bidding was done. In exchange, Asterion was able to discover the truth behind his scars. Though he is a vampire, I see etchings of humanity left within him. In truth, I pity him. Shadowheart could have chosen to slay the Night Song, but she chose to save her instead. She heard my words in her heart, and I am glad for it. Before we venture to the Moonrise Towers, we're to visit the Last Light Inn. There you are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? Her name is Night Song, an immortal Kethric had trapped within the Shadowfell. An immortal? But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Kethric down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now. We're all counting on you. That much I know. We're gonna leave right away. We've already prepared. We have our team together. Shadowheart, Will, and Halson. Our builds are locked and loaded. I'll go over them at the end. For now though, we need to focus on the story. Let's go over to Moonrise. I truly do wish Once she waited. She back. didn't. Once more to save Baldur's Gate. We'll do it together, all of us here. Unshackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy, and if we wait too long, Ketherick will gather his strength and retaliate. Can't let him. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? We've got to be decisive. We move in and secure the ground floor first. Cut off all exits. A sound strategy. Once it's done, me and my harpers will hold the ground floor while you hunt down the general himself. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Say the word, and we're off. Actually, <laughs> I could get her to join my party. I'm not going to. Hopefully one day she'll come to join or maybe come to our camp. But I've got my team together. We've come this far. I don't need anyone else right now. Let's do it. And the Flaming Fist, they're going to have a very easy time. We killed so many in the dungeons. They're going to be okay. At the ready, Harpers! In this alight, there will be victory. In this alight, we will avenge the fallen! <sighs> the time has come. Gather equal taste of death at last. Swiftest we finally get to charge in. That feels good. It's been a long time coming. Zarel, I get to fight you already? Great. I'll use a potion of Featherfall for a reason. Let's jump. We've got to jump. We always do. Let's jump right behind her. Perfect. Hello, Zarel. You dare show yourself here after all you've done. You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorm. You have betrayed our god! And for what? These harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb. And in death, you will all serve the Absolute. First off, you didn't vet me. I came here, and like usual, all of you believed that I would follow your god. You can't betray who you never served. Step aside, Zarel. Where's the fun in that? Boys, make this traitor bleed. Boys. Poor Edrahill. 
No matter what he does, someone is trying to bend him. He met Zarel only one time and she said, I want that one. Before we're able to make any decisions, we need to look at the battlefield itself. Currently, Edrahil is surrounded. In character, there is a reason for that. He's drawing all eyes to where he's at. We've got allies who have lost so many of their comrades. He's trying to save all of them. He doesn't want a single one to die on his watch. If only he was here sooner, if only Jahira waited, maybe more would be alive. He might be taken down, we're going to find out. The two zealots, they're considered to be paladins. Zarel herself, she's got mirror image, increasing her AC. Fire shield chill. I assume if I hit her, I'll take damage in response, which means if I use haste, I would need to make a con save every time I take damage. Over to the left, Big Mama Mig. Oh, she's going to be a threat. Not very handy when it comes to anything other than hitting hard, though. And also very easy to hit. Three gnolls over to the further left flank. All controlled by a halfling called Lincella. We met her before. These gnolls, they're a pain. Low HP, however, they're able to attack multiple times. Behind the zealots, we've got two spellcasters. These two have got to be shut down. Our team were all grouped together. And as you know in D&D, the higher you go, the crazier spells get. We've got some crazy spells too. Further to the right, it's only Lan, the traitor. I want my money back. We're missing two. These two acolytes, they're right above us. They're only level four. They shouldn't be a major threat. For our own side, we've got Jahira, a level eight druid. She's got an AC of only 13. Oh dear, we'll have to protect her. The Flaming Fists. Okay, four of them, all using two-handed weapons. I'm worried about using area of effect spells. They might run in, I don't know. Hopefully not. The four Harpers, they're all using bows. They'll be easy to keep alive. And because Edgerhill pulled off what's called a Leroy Jenkins maneuver, Will, Shadowheart, and also Halson, they're not in combat. We might as well just move somewhere else. We've got two Elixirs of Vigilance, Halson, and also Will, they would go first anyway, but I want to do something. I want to be above my foes. If they can do it, I can do it too. Oh, Quartermaster Tolly, you're here, and you're terrified. I didn't see you before. We'll need to jump over. My goal is to climb up. We've got roots. After that, we'll be able to hopefully get onto where those acolytes are at. It'll take a moment, but we'll get there. A lot has happened in a very short span of time. I was really thinking about how cool it would be to have a Spec Ops team. We'll call them Shadow Vengeance. One part for Shadowheart, the leader, the other part for Edrahill. They didn't get to follow through with Plan A. Those roots led to a few stone slabs. Those stone slabs led to two platforms. Then a ladder led to the second floor. We don't need to go there. Instead, we were able to jump over roots, make it over to the kitchen, now we have our team in place, Halson, Shadowheart, and also Will. If I went through the second floor, our team could fight through any enemies up there, provided they're not Thorm, and they would win. But I didn't want to spend all that time doing that. Instead, we're now ready for a great battle. Let's have a look. Oh, and hold on, let me show you. The roots are here. Here's a platform, another one after that, and a ladder. It was a lot easier to do plan B. Jump over some roots, get inside. Very simple. Yeah, I love the idea of just having our team do that. Edger Hill comes in to distract our foes. Well, you're not going to move first. Halson, you're going to do it. I bought a scroll. It was over 1,800 gold. I'm very broke at the moment. Cause a creature to start dancing, making it unable to take actions or move. Its attackers have advantage on attack rolls. Our enemy would need to make a wisdom saving throw. Halston has what? 20 for his spell save DC. Zarel, I hope you know how to dance. Let's begin. Here comes Halston, moving right by the gnolls. They've got their bows out, they can't do much. She tried to use a counter spell, but she failed. Now she's got the spirit of the dance inside of her. How embarrassing. That's got to be really torturous or just really scary. You know that you need to fight for your life, but you've also got to dance. It's time for a shillelagh. Perfect. Could you climb up? You can. Even better. There it is. Will, it's your turn. 
you need to use what's called Hunger of Hadar. Let's make it happen. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Edrahil. You'll move to the right. Only one person is able to attack you. Iagar, he's got a bow out. Bren, you don't. Let's push him back. Perfect. Next, I want you to go after Mig. Let's kill Mig. A level one divine smite. That's a fun one. No, move a bit further down. I don't want you being hit by her spells. Perfect. Oh, nearly gone. Another level one smite. Big mama. She has fallen. What does she have? Argument solver. No, that's me. I'll take it though. A standard great club. Not too unique. Oh, Shadowheart, it's your turn. Could you move in? Not yet, you would be seen. Unless maybe if we use hunger. We'll do it. We're gonna hit Zarel, the two zealots, and the two spellcasters. I don't want them moving around. Let's make it happen. Perfect. They're blinded. On the beginning of their turns, they'll take damage. Action surge. Perfect. But you're not done. Shadowheart, she's gonna move in. We've not done this for a long time. It's time. Spirit Guardians. Radiant damage. Let's begin. They've all been hit. Not for a lot of damage, but it adds up. They've got Radiating Orb. Minus one to their attack roll per turn, so minus two total. Back to Will. You know what? Don't knock them back. Use Repelling Blast. Take out these three. To play it safe, we could just use a Fireball. I like that idea too, but save it. Yeah, there it is. Attack. We're God's Blessing. 14 damage. Not dead, but close to it. Andrew Hill, you can't do Let's anything. Go. You're done. Allison, you too. Just move a little bit more. This is my time. All right. Well, you'll move up. They've all got their bows out. If they try to shoot and we're close by, they'll have disadvantage. Nice. Jahira, she's not advancing using Ice Storm. Not only are our foes in the dark, they'll have to, of course, make a save or they'll fall prone. Lan, he's dashing in. There it is. A ranged attack on Will. Oh, you made it. Good for you. He made his con saving throw. Another one after that. Man, they're pretty accurate. The Flaming Fist, they're moving in. Don't move into the darkness, please. Go after Lan. Do that. What's over here? A Guardian of Faith. If they want to waste their time and do that, sure. The Hunger is going to take them down. Don't worry about it. The Harpers, they're using their bow to attack Lan. The only one close by. There it is. <laughs> Good job, Shadowheart. She's not done. A spiritual weapon. That could add to our damage. But they would be in the darkness. So forget about it for now. I can't use all my spell slots. Zarel, are you still dancing? Oh, she is. <laughs> oh, man. She can't see. She's blind and dancing at the same time. The Zealots, they're dashing forward. One didn't make their save. They fell prone. The other one, he's using a bow to attack. Goodbye, Zealot. Executioner. Once per long rest, when you kill a creature, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. Not right now. Save it for later. Because we're not going to take a long rest. All right, another dead zealot. A bonus attack on Zarel. Let's try it out. Perfect. Oh, okay. So we did take a bit of damage in response. He's at 80, not too bad. Allison, it's your turn. Could you jump over here? Because if you can, that would be awesome. I don't believe you can. Shoot. I wanted him to use maybe Thorn Whip. That would have been a lot of fun. All right, so we could run there, but we're able to jump maybe here. Not enough movement. Oh, come on. Forget about it. Let's just go. Thorn Whip. It's able to reach. Good. Get that Acolyte. And he's down right into the hunger. Well, for a moment, he's prone. <laughs> 
You're all done. Good job. All worth it. Will? Hit them. One dead knoll. What about two? Two dead knolls. Even better. That's my favorite. He'll move closer to Lancella and Barnabas. Who's moving? Jahira again. Another ice storm. Ouch. A flourish on Lan, a critical miss. Lan? You're trying to take out Jahira. Good luck. I won't let you. A ranged attack on Shadowheart. Yeah, I wanted to ensure that no allies died. I've got a habit, no matter what game I play, try to save any of my allies, no matter what. I mean, it'll drive me crazy if even one dies. Or God's blessing, not needed. That's only for our party. Wow, pretty good. For the spellcasters, they're nearly dead. They do have death ward, they'll come back, but we could sneeze at them, then they would die. Good job, Harpers. Lan is dead. For God's blessing. No, again, not needed. 18 HP. They're all dead. All but Lancella. You've got it, Shadowheart. Perfect. Let's move up. We don't need to do anything, do we? No, I don't believe so. Oh, there's more enemies. Could we bring out a weapon over there? Do we need to move up at all? We don't. That's even better. No, 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 you do. Shoot. Unless I put it right here to the right of the door. All right, all right. We don't want to be grouped up. That's always a bad idea. End your turn. You're done. Back to their side. They're all being hit. Normally, I would have the camera follow whose turn it is, but there's so many fighters. If I did that, our camera would be in chaos. Sorel, goodbye. She's dead. Time to use our bow. Let's take out a spellcaster. Well, I wonder, could I use a melee attack? No, I can't reach anyone. That's okay. That's all right. We'll get you, Doracle. We've got it. He's back up. We'll get him again. Though, not right now. I was hoping... I was truly hoping. End your turn. Halson. You've got many spells. A good ice knife. That would hit how many? All three. Yeah, use it at level one spell. Nice work. <laughs> Alright, you'll move down after Blub. The last acolyte is above us. Will. Back to spell casting. Kill Burek. For God's blessing, 5 HP. He's lucky. We didn't hit for a lot. Jahira, she's not a panther. Jumping into combat. I'll get rid of the hunger. Oh, counterspell. Actually, it's only a bless. Let's save it. If it feels like a hunger of Hadar, then maybe so. But I'm not worried about that. The fist, they want to move in. Ah! I need to go back to Will and turn it off. I was hoping that they wouldn't charge in, but they're crazy. All right, another enemy gone. Here's a Zealot. Wait, you frightened Edrahill? Maybe he saw a big roach, I don't know. It couldn't have been you. What are they doing? Oh, they're going after the Acolyte. The Harpers have nearly killed him. Good work. Another Spellcaster, a Guiding Bolt. No, a counter spell. You've been shut down. Enjoy that. Back to us, Will. You're done. No more hunger. The hunger is over. Shadowheart. Let's move up. Right by Bren. It took a little damage. We can't jump. I know that. Sacred Flame. A high chance to hit. Do it. 16 damage. Nice work. All right, your spiritual weapon. We could hit the spellcaster. No, too far away. What about the acolyte? Yeah, seven damage. No more bless. That's what I was hoping for. Belub, you're attacking Halson. I mean, if you want to, good luck. Ooh, a shield blow in response. Knock him down. Whoa, he hit Shadowheart for a lot. She's only at 57 HP. Edrahil. 
Time for revenge. Bring out your weapon. Oh, you're frightened. Right. I forgot about that. Blast. Allison, you'll move instead. You've got your shillelagh. You could also shove him. Let's do that. Ah, oh, you failed. I thought you would be okay. I was wrong. Strike. He's dead. Nice work. Move over a little closer. All right. It's time. Oh, wait. Yeah, push back your foes. Even better. Who did it? It was you. Our pathway is interrupted. Let's move over. Now we're able to blast. Get him. Wait, wait. I'm not done yet. We no longer have our hunger. We're able to use Hex. Because of my shield, I have a level 1 spell slot. Now I don't need to use any of my spells for that. Dexterity saving throw, debuff it. Good job. Now go blasting. Two misses. Oh, you're kidding me. Fine, fine. Edriel, you'll do what you can, okay? That's all that you can do. If you can't move ahead, use your bow. Perfect. All right. Now the spellcaster. Just wait. A miss. Bring out your melee weapon. Wait there. Allison, you can't do much more. I don't know who we're going to fight right after. I'm hoping that maybe the Harpers will get a break. I would rather go in alone. Whoa, an arrow of ice. More ice to worry about. Harpers, come on. Be careful. Oh, they all fell. <laughs> Did I say Harpers? The Flaming Fist. Oh, the Zealot. He moved in too and he fell. We're all being embarrassed. How terrible. They couldn't hit that one Zealot. And he's prone. Okay, Nola is moving away. You're going to use what? A Hunger of Hadar. Ouch. I should have saved my counter spell for it. All right. All right. If you want to do that, that's okay. Let's jump. Try to. We made it. We can move closer. Even better. You made your save. Understood. Hit Nola. Good job. Divine Strike afterwards. Concentration broken. Spiritual weapon. Help me finish it. 8 damage. 13 HP left. Andrew Hill. Let's keep on shooting. Yeah, we've got to. Hit him. I know you're frightened. But just hit him. A miss again. Can we not hit him because he's like in the stairs? I'll try one more time. If so, then we know why. No, we got it. We're okay. Perfect. I'm saving all my special effects for later. Oh, drink a potion. There it is. Halson, your turn. Thorn Whip. Oh, what would happen? He's down there. Try it out. <laughs> we just kind of like moved him over. Two points of damage. Not a lot, but he's fine. In turn, Will. Keep on blasting. We can't move over the ice. That would be a bad idea. Oh, extra damage. Hex is so good. He's got what left? Nine HP. Jahira? She fell prone. Another bless from Dane. Oh, you were able to push Shadowheart. Good for you. The Flaming Fists, they're moving up. Or are they going to try to? There it is. A rush attack. Yeah, take them out. Good job. They did it. A dead zealot. Okay, Harpers, your turn. What a battle. That was a lot of fun. It could have gone poorly, but no, it went well. So we did take a lot of damage. One of many battles to come. Shadowheart. You've got it. There's one strike. They're back up. Hit them again. There's an illicit parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. I've got a lot to loot. It's gonna take me a minute. The good part is, everyone is dead in the basement. So maybe the flaming fist will be okay. A scroll of fear, shatter, a specimen. And the Absolute's Protector. Alright, well we don't have the brand. Fire Shield Chill, a level 4 evocation spell, 2 to 16 damage. Yeah, that's powerful. That's a tough one. It hurt me a lot. We'll take a short rest. That's what we'll do. Oh, Done. We feel a lot better. We need to get everyone back together. 
What I'll do for the moment, I'm going to loot everything, sell it to our trader, the quartermaster Tali. Best be on my way. Ooh, an iron banded shield plus one. Any special effects? No, only three for the armor class. All right. Oh, hold on. What about that drow's room? She's not here anymore. I should have killed her. Hopefully we'll meet her again. Then we'll crush her. No more enemies here. Main floor, it's all clear. All right, a potion of angelic reprieve. We'll use that later. I'll show you what it does in a bit if you don't know. We don't need it yet. Ground poison, oil, all of that. Okay, any foes? No, we're good. We'll talk to Jahira after we're done looting. We went back to loot everyone and every little thing. We've only got a bit of gold left. I've been buying scrolls, very powerful ones. These are gonna help out quite a bit, a wall of ice and so much more. That should be it. I even went back out to the bridge to pick up more armor. Take all of it, we don't need it. Two bones? Look, if you wanna buy it, have it. Two candles too. There it is. What do I want from you now? A cone of cold? Another dancing scroll? Those are so much fun. Let's try a different spell. I'm here to try out a few spells for variety, really. A circle of death, a con save, I'll take it. There you are. Thank you so much. Let's go, we need to leave. Lady, light your way. You've got so much gear. I wasn't kidding. The goblins, we don't need to touch. They don't have a lot. But everyone else, they've been looted. Let's go talk to Jahira, then we need to ascend. As long as we hold this floor, the tower is ours. I'll stay here, ensure no one comes up or down without a scimitar welcome. You're close now. A final audience with Ketherick Thorm awaits. I know, it's crazy. It took a long time to get here. Wish me luck. May you strike like the viper and choke like the vine. Good luck. I'm taking Thorm to Suplex City. Population, him. Let's get up here. It'll take a minute to climb up. We probably need to fight that one mistress. We met her before. I forget her name. Rod. Rod Dinger, maybe. I don't know. No more tiptoeing around. We're going to charge in or jump in. Edrael, you'll jump right by... What's her name? Radija. I was close. No, I wasn't. Let's make it happen. You do it. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha ha. Shadowheart, you're going last. What a shame. Hit her now. Executioner. A critical hit. After that, a Divine Smite level 2. You deserve it, I'm sure. One more attack. She's dead. The undead are still around. I was hoping they would crumble. What do you have? Another Scourge. I'll take it. Thank you. Edrahil, we're all done. Halson, you're not. Let's get close. Oh, you're blocked. That's pretty funny. Well, move in first. No time to waste. There we are. Reapply hex. Hold on. Necrotic damage. Oh, that's an issue. Use it anyway. Now blast. There it is. Well, three damage. I'll take it. Only one HP left. Nelson. Now you'll move inside. I don't want them to be able to do anything. I could hit, no, not two of them. I was hoping I could hit two of them. Wait, I can. Great, let's do it. Oh no, it missed. Oh well, they're all done. Bring out your shillelagh. They're gonna hurt us, not too much. One is blinded, the other one has one HP. Or maybe they won't, no, that wouldn't be worth it. I don't want to use a short rest after our current battle. Counter spell, not needed. We've got potions, we'll be okay. Yeah, save it. Another miss. One more. <laughs> they can't do it. They're losers. Have to keep going. Sacred flame. When it hits, it hits so well. Make it happen. Okay. I was wrong. It hit for a little bit of damage. <laughs> Sometimes it does a great job. Shillelagh. Oh, one hit, 21 damage. Whoa, all right. 
That made up for it. Well, go blasting. Two targets. One destroyed. One more to get rid of. You've got it. Great. They're all very much gone. Don't move into the ice. Do they have loot? Not a lot, no. We have water. That's good. Let's explore a little bit. I'm not going to read every letter. Not right now. It's really bad timing. But it won't take me long to clear out the rooms. I don't know if there's anyone left. I've not been over here. Another door. A bedroom. Hmm. What? Perception failed. What's going on? A shapeshifter. Not on my watch. 28 damage. <laughs> Alright. Shillelagh. Every day. I'll keep on using it. Strike. 8 damage. Will, your turn. Use a melee attack. Now you're done. I'm kidding, you're not done. Strike again. Perfect. 2 HP. Andrew Hill. Finish it. It's gone. What do we get? A stained letter. Ah, oh, I love to read every little note, every little thing. But I need to be patient. Open up. It's Edra Hill. I know, terrifying. What's inside? A diary. Okay. Another book. Ethic of War. Anything special, truly special. Attracting drow exiles. Strange. Mini invasion plans. Who's Gortosh? I'm sure we'll find out. Another letter. A small potion and a chest. You know what, Asterian? You'll take a break. Open up. Oh, a letter and a cloak. Let's have a look at that cloak. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental attack targeting you and deal an additional 1d6 of that element type on your next attack. That's really cool. I'm going to put that on. Yeah, there we go. I'll need to dye it, but I like it. Hold on. What did you see? Elder Brain Domination. What? Oh, Catherick. That's important information. We'll look at it later, but I'm gonna take it with me. All that intel. We've cleared out every single room. Now it's time to go up. I'm not gonna leave any doors behind. Not me, not today. We've got an open floor plan. Catherick will hate it. You, what have you done? Huh. What have you done to me? You're mortal again, Thorn. I've come to finish you. Impossible. You are a thrall. A slave. You serve the Absolute. You serve me. Bow, you dog. Prism. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. You. How good it is to see you again, Catherick. At last, you found a godmaster that suits you, it seems. Halen, the thief. You stole Isabel from me, and now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name. After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me! 
Enough. This ends here and now. At last. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side! She's very inspirational. Every time she shows up, something crazy is happening. Shadowheart, you won't be moving for a while. That's a shame. Aelin too. Thorm, he's a danger. We need to reduce him if we're able to. A wall of stone. If we could block him, that would be funny. But we're not going to do that. Instead, move up, Halson. I was hoping he would have a few lines, but he didn't. Ice Storm. We could hit Sustera, the Mistress of Souls. We've got how many Necromites? Eight total. Squire, the General's Warhound, right by him. Yeah, let's hit two Necromites, Thorm, the Warhound, Sustera, and so on. Perfect. They've all taken damage. Nice work. But you're not done. You shillelagh. Well, it's your turn. You'll also move up. Nice work. Hunger of Hadar. Oh, hold on. There's two Necromites. They're gone. Could we hit two more? That would be nice. No, we want to cover the stairs. Why? I don't want Thorm to be able to move. Hunger of Hadar. Darkness. He's going to be blinded. Next, Will. Action Surge. Because I want you to blast away two Necromites. Go over the edge. Come on. One didn't go over the edge. What a shame. He's done. Edrahil, it's your turn. A Divine Smite? Good idea. It's my favorite. Or... No, no, no. I was hoping that maybe we could use our Thunderous Smite. But that's for later. A level 1 Smite. There it is. Another one after that. 35 HP left. She's dead. Goodbye, Mistress. What can you do, Squire? A cry for help, calling for reinforcements. One Necromite. Don't use Counterspell. You missed. Thorm. He's moving now. He's coming down the stairs. He wasn't able to jump or do anything else. Great. Shadowheart, I want you to jump. Jump over here. Perfect. Right by all the undead to the right. There's four total. You've got Sunbeam. You would be able to hit... Squire, Thorm, the two Necromites. Do it. I've been saving it. Radiating Orb, four stacks total. Nice. One Necromite gone. She's done. She's done her part. Aelin, it's your turn. Watch out for that hunger. One Necromite gone. She's trying to hit Thorm. I wish she wouldn't. It's okay. Shadowheart should be fine. Yeah, they missed. They're blinded. Halston, your turn again. Heat metal. Oh, that would be great, wouldn't it? There's no water over here. I was hoping for that. A wall of fire would be great. An acid arrow. That wouldn't have a high chance of hitting. I could hit around him, but it wouldn't really hurt him. Not that much. So, what spells do we have that would bother him? It's got to be level 3 or lower because... We're trying to just really save our time. Keep metal. Let's try it out. Level 2. An okay chance to hit. Come on. There it is. Weapon dropped. <laughs> His Warhammer on the ground. What a great job. You're done. Will, it's back to you. Move over here. Blast again. Perfect. Then attack Squire. He's got it. Two different sides, two enemies gone. Pretty cool, Will. Pretty cool. We've turned him into a juggernaut. Still on my feet. Edrahil, it's your turn. I'm going to have you shoot. Yeah, Thorm. Try to. 18 damage. I'll take it. I'm not mad about it. We'll do it again. Sure. 17 damage. Again, very nice. We'll move over to the right. Your turn is done. Back to him. He's moving down. Incubate death. Incubate all you want. Your eggs will do nothing to me. Aelin did not take a lot of damage. Oh, a Necromite. Well, 
Shadowheart, attack. One gone. Another one gone. Great job. Aelin, get out of my hunger. Please do that. She's trying to hit. She's moving away. Five more damage. Right, because he has no weapon. He's not able to do much. A counter spell, not needed. Leave it alone. She's okay. 50 HP. What now? Opportunity attack. Good job, Edrahill. Thorm, I've got to get you. You know I've got to. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll leave it alone. A thorn whip. No, that's fine too. Instead, just use your bow. Try it out. Wow. It worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. Will? Move here too. I could get rid of your hunger, but... Nah. Blast. Try it out. We're God's blessing. Enough. My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Is it really? Oh dear. That was only part one. How can such a thing be possible? No kidding. All right, well, get rid of your hunger. We need to find out where it took Catherick. We're going to. Don't worry about it. A heavy chest. What a day. I could really use some shutter. We're not going to rest up. Not yet. Oh right, his warhammer. I've got it. How cool. 11 to 23 damage, 1d4 psychic damage too. Very, very nice. Heat metal, five turns remaining. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. What about that heavy chest? Father, can can I, I break it open? I would like to. I'll try it out. Ah, I'll try again. Fine, I'll give it to Asterion. I could bring out my maul, but we'll leave it alone. I'll send it back home, don't worry. I'll open it and all of you will see what's inside. What else do we have? A bunch of dead necromites, a scroll, and we need to move over here. Oh, there's Jahira. She's up here. How's it going? The general will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him before he has a chance to subdue the night song again. Sure, we'll do that. Don't you want to see how this ends? I certainly do. I could have her join my party. I would rather have her join my camp. I have my team. I like my team. I know how they work. I do like her, but I don't really know her. All right, look. Do you know what to expect when we find him? Just to have a conversation for a brief moment. Theory and supposition. None of which will help us in the fight to come. Ketherick must die. And the absolute with him. We will work out the details as they rear their ugly heads. There, we can do that. You know what? I'll say it just in case. Join me then. You have numbers enough already, I think. You'll want a small force if you are to finish this quickly. Good hunting. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's time to go down. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh, it's really disgusting. Ah, oh, all right. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. We won't do it yet. Why? Because I need a few more spell slots. I don't want to rest up. I've got a few potions that should be able to help us out. Hold on, where is it? I know I've got it somewhere. I've got two. Oh, good. Let's drink away. Drink to fall into a two-turn slumber. We'll have all the benefits of a short rest. And we'll be able to regain all first and second level spell slots. Nice. Take a nap. 
Beautiful. Shadowheart, you've not used a lot. What about you, Halson? Only two. Defender of the people. Let's save yours. And, Will, you've got one more left. Perfect. Now we'll go on. See, we need more juice, more of a battery for our divine smites. You peered down the hole left by the tentacle that drew Catherick into the darkness. Will you leap after him? Naturally. We've got to. Oh, yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. It's really nasty here. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. I could do without all the wet squelching sounds. It's really troubling. Halson, you know what? Use your wild shape. Do that. Turn into an owl bear for fun. Prepare. A symbol prepare. No, thank you. To do. Let's move. A membrane to cut open. We're gonna purge everything, everything that we find. We're gonna burn it to the ground. Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. I believe you. Let's get to blasting. I told you, they're all gonna be destroyed. There it is, seven damage. Could use more. Edriel, move up. You've got a bow. Shoot away. Ah, oh, one more point. You've got it. Perfect. They're gone. What do you have for loot? Very good. A cerebellum. We need that for alchemy. I'm doing it for my own alchemy, that's for sure. We'll take a right. I don't know where I'm going, so we're just going to navigate and explore. More of them. How many pilgrimages to Moonrise ended down here? We're in the morgue. Oh, I don't like that. Wait, what? Chop? What are you? <laughs> no will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the collective. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. Or you could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. We're going to put it out of its misery, but not yet. Tell me, where are we? What is it? No, sorry. Here. They become. Do they now? Become what? Part of one mind. Four little feet dancing to same song. With a lurch, you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested, made part of the hive mind. Terrible. What did you do to all these people? Chop, chop. Help them. Become. Did you? I need to find your master, Catherick. Ma, stop. Ma, down, deep, one, off, three, one, off, three. Is it not him? Why don't I send you to join all these creatures you butchered? <sighs> yes. Yes. Please. Wow, he sobered up for one moment. We'll do it then. Goodbye, Chop. Picks a fight. The it's time for a battle. Do not react. Save what you have. No time for Chop. There's a lot we need to fight. A critical miss. Strike again. Good job, Halson. Oh man, what a tragic story. Helson, leap, a crushing flight. Nice, 11 damage. Pretty cool, I think. All right, Will, 
it's time to go blasting, like we always do. Oh, there's one there. I didn't even see it. Strike back. You got it. <laughs> Good job. Can't do much more outside of maybe using her bow. There it is. Not quite dead, but close to it. Bring out your melee weapon to play it safe. End your turn. You're done too, Halston. End your hill. Attack. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. That's right. You shouldn't have. Dead. Very, very dead. All right. Only three left. Where are you? Ah, to the left. I understand. Could I use my bow for anyone? For anyone around us? There's one. Shoot. There it is. Also gone. Could we shoot again? No, we can't. I was hoping, but we can't do it. All right, fine. End your turn. Shadowheart, you'll move. Could you jump? You can't jump over there. Fine, fine, fine. You've got your bow. Don't use it. What about Secret Flame? An okay chance. Made your save. That's all right. Their turn. Oh, they're creepy. A critical miss. Another miss. Allison, he's done it. One more attack. What now? He should be dead. Come on, die already. Perfect. I like that. Another crushing flight. Oh, that's so good. We're just flying around. Eight more damage. Allison, you've done a good job. Well, it's your turn. We beat them all. Well, there it is. Chop, what do you have? You've got a cleaver. Toy block. Very sad. What a tragedy. What a terrible way to go. I mean, he might have been my enemy in some other life. You could. A letter to the absolute. I'm going to loot. Yeah, every single devourer. I want those supplies. I need them, I think. Then we need to figure out where we're going. Halston, you're taking up my pathway. It's so easy to click on him. I need to be careful. One more after that. Right down here, a list of rules. We've got a bunch of clothing, butchered mind. Terrible. All right, according to our map, we could go back, take a right. Oh, the Blade of Frontiers. So Zeriel's asset is here. We'll certainly get it. Before we do that, I think we'll go to the right. Question number one, what's behind the flesh rot door? Number two, why does it have teeth? Hold on, there's undead. We need to pull back. How many? That's a lot. All right. I've got a plan. Halson, you don't need to be an owlbear. It's tough to be a moon druid. I just want to cast spells whenever I can. No, he's fine. The easy path is quite simple. What I could do is use maybe a plague right at the end of our pathway. Then I could use a scroll or even a wall of fire to stop them even further. That's ideal. Or I can move up and attack them all and get crazy with it. Normally, I like to play it safe. Today, we're not going to do that. Edrahil, you're moving in. I know, I know. It's going to be interesting. We're going to make it like that. Potion of Invisibility. Will, you've got one. Drink it, Edrahil. And we're leaving. We're going right into the middle. It's time for a showdown. We're about to have our finale for Act 2. We're very close to it. We've got to do some crazy stuff, right? There's Edrahil. Now for Shadowheart. She's here. She's going to use Turn Undead. We need to impact as many as we're able to. If they want to walk over here, that would be nice. Let's hit more over to the left. There it is. Now begin. Perfect. A stealth round for me. Edrahil, you've got time. Let's go after the Death Shepherd. A Divine Smite. Level 1. Begin. And he's done it. That was a lot of damage. We have fought these before on the Rosymorn Trail. They're a great support character for other undead. 
We are heavily outnumbered. That's going to be interesting. Spirit Guardians? Absolutely. We've got to. Radiant damage for everyone. There it is. They've got Radiating Orb, a good debuff, and time for a great sword. We don't want to hit all of our enemies. We've used Turn Undead. We just want to focus on those who are not turned or whoever we have hurt already. Move closer. Perfect. That zombie is about to fall apart. Even better. Will, I want you to move in, if you don't mind. You've got your weapon out. Use a misty step. Yeah, you're going to jump in too. Too far away? Not on my watch. How far could you move if you just move over here? Or instead, we have him take out other zombies. We've got so many options. No, I've made my choice. Hop in, Will. Misty step. Come on, buddy. Nice work. After that, what are we going to use? A melee attack? Sure. Let's do it. Only one. I don't want to knock away any foes of mine. Keep them here. He's done. For Halson, it's your turn. Hold on. Take out your staff. A wall of fire. A very simple spell. A very good spell at that. A wall of stone to cut off our enemies. How fun would that be? But again, he's too far. An ice storm would be simple. Let's do that. I just want to slow down my enemies. Perfect. I never need to be fair or honorable to undead. Why would I do that? Shillelagh time. Well, that's every time. All of you know that. Let's move in. They're all blinded. And are we done? I think so, for a moment. No kidding. We're all together. That was a proper D&D &D entry. I do believe so. Another Divine Smite, level 1. We got one enemy. I could funnel them, I know that, but it's too much fun to just beat them up. We are tailor-made to attack undead. Do not use a Divine Smite, is what I would say if I was mad. No, level 2. 50 damage, 3 HP left. <laughs> Alright, they were surprised. I hardly ever get to use turn undead. We'll take out that one greater zombie. It's got undead fortitude, but we've got radiant damage. Unfortunately, it's back up. So you didn't do that for me. That's okay. It's gone anyway. Another undead destroyed. Shadowheart, move over here. Use a melee attack. You've got the power. Divine strike. Wiped out? Not quite. Again, a miss. Unfortunate. Halson, you don't need to concentrate. You've used your spell. A wall of fire. Oh, wrong spell there. That was my spike growth. There is wall of fire. A classic. Again, we get to hit three undead. Now, if they want to reach them, good luck. They're going to have a bad, bad time. All right, she's done. That one undead, not destroyed. Let's try to move over. Ah, so close. We didn't make it. Will? It's time to go blasting. Or, we could try to hit him. Let's do that. I've been wanting him to use some melee. He hits hard in melee. Alright. Don't move into that mysterious liquid. I'm not a fan. Could we reach any other enemy? We can. Another winged creature. Another devastating hit. Good. A turn that is over. Their turn now. Claws on Will, but they missed. Claws on Edrahill. Another miss. Edrahill. Attack. It's what we do best. Oh, you know what? I'll use Inquisitor's Might. I hardly ever use it. We could inflict days upon our enemy for one turn. I wish it would last for a few more turns. Yeah, at least for me. Disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. They can't take reactions. They lose a dex bonus to their armor class and whatnot. Just a really good effect. So I get it. Inquisitor's Might. Done. Attack again. You've got it. <laughs> He's like, I don't even have to swing my blade. 
That's how mighty I am. Don't waste a step. Another simple zombie. We can't hit it. Their turn. Their numbers, they're already diminished. Blinded by <laughs> Helson. What about you? Also flying over. Whoa, you still took fire damage. Cool, you flew through the fire. Nice. Oh no, he's surrounded. Whatever is he going to do? Whoa, that was a big hit though. That greater zombie, that hurt him a lot. Here I was, mocking you. Now I know. I shouldn't mock you. The greater zombie was hit by our spiritual weapon. One more zombie. One fire. A slam on Edrahill. Alright. Shadowheart. Maybe we need to pop back. I think so. Let's pop back. We need to help out Halson. Perfect. Got them. Now they're in trouble. A melee attack? Sure. Divine Strike. Nearly gone. 14 HP. Halson, you've got options, you know. Thunder Wave. You could hit all three. I'm hoping you're not going to hit Shadow Heart. I can't really tell. There's a lot going on. Let's go. Oh no, we got her too. Yeah, I couldn't quite see that. I'm very sorry. You know what? Here. Let's patch you up. I feel bad. I don't want to move too close. There's fire. Perfect. It happens. It happens. In fact, I'm just happy it hasn't happened too often before. A critical hit. It adds to our drama. But I feel like Shadowheart would tell him to do it. She would go, yeah, do it. Take him out. I don't care. A ranged attack afterwards. Let's take out a flying creature. They all hit hard. Oh, hold on. Halston. I don't know if she's going to take damage. I think so, actually. Wall of fire. Yeah, end it. I don't want her taking more damage. Perfect. Battle favors the all right, Will. You can't attack again, but take out your melee weapon in case someone comes up to you. Still on my feet. Andriel. Keep on swinging. Another zombie gone. The others are still turned. We need to go You're after again. the greater zombie. They hit hard. Now I know that. Bonus attack. Can we not reach? Oh, we are so close, but we can't reach. That's all right. That's okay. I would if I could. Falls on Edrahill, but they're blinded. Our spiritual weapon took another hit. Keeping that greater zombie busy. 11 damage. More gone. Shadow Heart is doing it. Who's left? You know, we'll drink a potion of superior healing. She's already feeling better. I spend so much time crafting potions, I don't want to talk about it any further. Just know, it's a lot of time. A sacred flame on a greater zombie. Unfortunately, it was able to make it save. Can't move any closer. Back to Halson. Halson, move over again. A spike growth. That would keep these two zombies busy. What about a third? Yeah, a level two spell. Ah, I didn't get that greater zombie. No problem, no matter. Drink your potion. In turn. Your turn, Will. Finding my way. It's time to go blasting. We always do. Move a little closer. That should do it. Dear Devil Proximity from your gloves. Two shots. One critical miss. That's been happening a lot lately, I feel. Yeah, you can't do anything else. I wish you could. Back to your melee weapon. And Edrahill. You've got ranged attacks to use. Yeah, I don't want you jumping over there. Uh-uh. Don't do that. Just shoot. One attack. And another. Close. No dice, but close. What are you going to do, greater zombie? Move away? Bad idea. It went after our spiritual weapon. Another dash. <laughs> but it's done for. It continues to take damage. Man, what a cool spell. I like that. A ranged attack. Just to make it simple. A critical miss. Oh, another. Got one. All right. 
And turn, Halson, your turn. Use your bow. Oh, hold on. Right, there's you. How did I forget about you? Will, attack. He's got it. One more attack. Dark One's Blessing. They're all destroyed. Okay, no more growth. <laughs> get rid of it. No, and we get to group back up. I don't know where Thorm is at. That's what I'm worried about. I've got one more short rest. I'm hoping I get time to prepare, because if not, that's going to be a nightmare, I think. I'll have to check the map. I don't know what that liquid is about, and I don't want to touch it. I just don't. That's a fair assessment, I think. But how close are we to our next level? Very, very close. That feels right. That feels good. All right. It looks like there's something down to the south. We could check that out first. I might be wrong, but it seems like it, according to the map. After that, we look around and maybe go north or head back and continue over here because we've got to do Will's thing. We want to do that before finding Thorm. Oh, okay. So we do know where he's at. Cool, cool. That gives me time to just explore. One more short rest. I'm not going to take a long rest. I might need to conserve a few more spells. I don't like mysterious liquid. No, I don't. I don't want an answer about it. Edrahill, he's going to jump alone. There's a pocket that we're able to reach. Perfect. Any loot for me to pick up? A chest. A scroll of cloud kill. 5 to 40 poison damage. Nice. I feel... I don't like that. A prayer for forgiveness. Forgive me, Father, for I cannot help but admire the chosen of your sworn foe. Inver Gortash's genius will take us far. But fear not, those of Bane always fall to the same folly. They cannot see the beauty of obliteration. The absolute hoax will garner false love from new slaves. But once I've built a large enough army, I will use her hold upon the absolute slaves to begin this vile world's end. I can see the path through Gortash's brilliant plan. Gortash, Catherick, and I will seize the Netherese relics that control the crown. Then they want to use the crown to command the Illithid Grand Design. They're insane. They truly are. Balthazar, I'm glad I got rid of you. Hopefully you'll never come back. So Gortash, we've got to keep an eye out for that name. And that individual. Let's see. Experimental notes. His obvious deficiencies aside, it cannot be denied that young Gortash has the mind of a scientist. Before his latest invention, the Illithid Library was no more than rows of brain swimming. Oh dear. So now we know there's a tool he's made. Could that be it? To our left, we've got a head and a mind archive interface. We've got brains in a jar, two of them. I picked one up. Yeah, I did. That was back whenever we were on the Nautiloid a long time ago. I never got rid of it. It's in my storage. A rune slate. A final mournful entry. Carrying with it a vast hollow feeling of grief. The colony in decline. The elder starving. <laughs> I like that. Seems I can understand a lithid script. Thank you, Tadpole. No, thank you. One more. A flash of nautiloids lining a great dark void. One mind with one purpose, moving in concert through the darkness between planes. All right, what do we have? A willing mind and a true mind. Let's try that one. That sounds important, right? Where is it? Hold on, let me actually sort my inventory. It's a mess. There it is. I usually keep it so neat, but I don't have time. I'm busy right now. I'm trying to save people. Every day he comes. Every day for three days to ask me how I feel. I want to tell, but I am confused. Which, which day is it? That's a really good question. Tell me about that he first. We are his pets, his plan, 
Lord Gortash. That name again. Now, about that first day. The first, yes. Five days since you put that thing in my eye. But the first day he came to visit. He says I am the last. That the other subjects have all changed. Sure. What about the second day? I hurts. Head hurts. But he says I am past the worst of it. That I won't change like the others. He's given me a place of honor. So he can repeat his miracle. And a name. True soul. One more then. Day number three. She whispers in my mind. She sings. Praise the absolute. It's really bad what's been done to all of them. I'm glad they're not in pain. Even though their existence, it's a blight. It's terrible. Let's go. We'll keep an eye out. I could take it with me. I'll get rid of it later. Maybe that would be the right thing to do. Ah, uh, well. Good feelings never last, I suppose. About that stone. Let's pick it up. We feel nice because of it. Wait, hold on. Look. Psychic damage. It's doubled. Is it because of that stone? It's gotta be. That's really the only foreign object. Then I don't want it. We'll double check once we get back. Back over here. Gate will know my desire. I'm sure. Uh, no, it won't. Yeah, it's gone. Another tendril device. Well, it's your turn. Edrahill is not going to touch it. He's already touched every other little thing. It's all slimy and just, uh, grotesque. Well, he's like, I don't want to. Now that I know, I don't want to go over there. People. Well, you've got to. Come on. Step by step. Housing can't do it. He doesn't have a worm. And we're not going to make Shadowheart do it. The console bursts into life. A mind touches your own. Alien and full of desperate need, but fragmented too. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its like. Oh no, I've got to use my brain? My entire party has pretty low intelligence. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's have a look then. We've got memory, emotion, reason, speech. There are nodes connecting to what? Ah, so we've got to reach the other side. That's gonna be interesting. Let's start with memory. Mine is very poor. If I forget something and it's rather obvious to you, please forgive me, I'm doing my best. I'm doing it live right now. Well, for me, live. Let's try that one. That one was easy. Just about. There's reason. We need to make it to memory. Let's go back. Yeah, here. Then there. Got it. I don't need to click anything else, I believe. Next, we'll do emotion. All right. Let's see. We need to leave room for the other nodes. That's what we've uh, got to keep in mind. But, uh, Excuse me? The higher one or the one a bit closer? Uh, my, but, uh, I hate it. Reason, you're next. Blue or speech You'll have to move up, gotcha. You'll only have one way out, roughly, if I've got it right. It's getting a little easier. At least, yeah, there it is. Well, welcome back, Master. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, speech. There's only so many directions we're able to move in. Done. Now to reap the rewards. 
Edger Hill, I don't know if he would be capable of that. Good job, Will. Very well. Actually, not too bad of a puzzle. A waking mind. Hurry now. It was hidden, but why? And a blade, too. Let's have a look. 11 to 23 damage. Psychic damage. That's it. Cool. I don't need it. Unless I need to fight something that takes more psychic damage. A new brain. Let's head back to that mind interface. If it's behind a door, it's got to be important. I mentioned my poor memory. Whenever I'm interacting with whatever and I'm not in combat, I should probably remember to put on my headband. Let's do that. Now we're very smart. We not only know how to read, we know how to read very well. I had to clean out my inventory. It was way too messy. There it is. Who's here, Halson? Oh, all but Shadowheart. Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw. Some variety of elf? Pretty enough for a flesh prison. If not the noble Githzerai features I was born with. The monk-like Githzerai, sibling race to the warrior Githyanki. Their contempt for one another is eclipsed only by their shared hatred of the Elithids. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the Gake either. Perhaps we might aid one another. Really now, how did you end up in that vault? Gizarai are supposed to be ultimate warriors. Warriors of the mind. Oh, there's some physical prowess involved, but the battlefield on which we truly fight the Gake is their own. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They destroyed us for it and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but... I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. No way. We felt inside. I don't like that. Normally, I wouldn't do that. Edrahil wouldn't do that. However, think about it. Awake, only as a brain. That's horrible. Even though it would be uncomfortable for Edrahil, it's only a bit of discomfort, and he would be able to do good. Alright. You want me to kill you? What if I can free you instead? We'll try that option first. My people dwell in limbo. A realm of pure chaotic thought. With my mind gone, perhaps my soul will return there. Or perhaps not. Death, freedom, they are one and the same. Touch my mind and purge it. At the very moment you do, I will make my knowledge yours. Sure. When you say erase your mind, do by any chance mean smash your brain to bits? If I'm able to avoid using the tadpole, I'll do it, but if I have to, I'll still do it. I do not. The Gake have been warping flesh for millennia. Who knows what damage they can undo? It is my mind they enslave. It is my mind that must die. All right. Time to reach out. Let's do it. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch. But you feel something left behind. A fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I... I see. You're kidding me. A mind barrier. That was really sad, too. I didn't like that at all. That got to me. I'm just trying to picture it, trapped in stasis, alive but not being able to live. Alright, let's try to find it. Advantage on intelligence saving throws. Really now? 
That's really good. Well, thank you. We're going to use that gift very well. Hold on, hold on. Before everyone jumps back, let's have a look at the map. What we'll do, we'll head back over where we came from. Then finally, rescue Zeriel's asset. A quick brain to get rid of. It shouldn't take a nap. Not on my watch. Allison, you're not going to go. Not yet. And squish it goes. Hold on. One to our right. Come closer. And goodbye. How many have we destroyed? It's got to be a lot. Here's the room. Any mind flayers? Surprisingly, no. Only walking brains. Mind flayers and civilians. Side by side. No kidding. We'll take out what's here. I don't want them here. Allison, you've got a bow you're able to use. Pull it out. No spells needed. I hope not. I really hope not. But use your shillelagh. Shadowheart, your turn. I'm going to look at the mini-map. These are very, very tiny. They're harder for me to see. Radiating orb. War clerics are so much fun. Oh, a miss. A shame. Come on, Will. Time to go blasting. It's always time to go blasting. You got one, correct? You did. And he's done. Edrahill. Your turn. Let's move up. We could jump over. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. He's able to reach. Gone. We'll move back. Use your bow. Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on. We've got a smoke powder arrow, but that would be a waste. Holy crap. What a massive radius. That's pretty good. I've got a bomb. I could use a bomb or two. Nah. I think we're okay. We'll just leave it here. Hold on. You're able to shoot the one really far away. Nice. That all worked out. 17 damage. Could you do it again? You sure can. Heck yeah, man. I love my bow. It's a Titan string bow. It's using my strength modifier. In turn, we're all done. Only two left. I don't see any mind flayers, which is truly shocking. They're usually around. Yeah, dash on over. That works out in my favor. Heck yeah. All right. Shillelagh time. Let's do it. Smack it. A critical hit. 25 damage. Holy crap, Allison. I'm telling you, Shillelagh, it's great. <laughs> Edger Hill, end it now. Yeah, you've got it. Perfect. One shot. Two shots. But not a third. So I can't do the laugh. All right. Let's have a look around. I thought I heard someone's voice. The device releases a stream of fragmented memories and emotions. All that remains of the pod inhabitant's former self. Your lungs burn with the dry heat of the fires raging about you. But the pain is not enough to diminish your swing. One goblin after another falls to your blade. A man's voice cries out through the thick smoke. Raven guard, you call, but the clang of swords and spell shouts of attacking drow are your only reply. A goblin killer. I like you already. Desperation, pain, terror. Cultists raided his village. He was the sole survivor. Now a mind flayer. Another person. This pod pulsates with the angry memories of Raven Guard's search officer, Manip Shurga. She laments her failure to locate him. Tragic. Another mind flayer. Wait, hold on. Could it be? Zevlor! Holy crap, you're alive! You remember the shattered windows of Alterel's high cathedral? The burning black sky of Avernus beyond. In its horror, the blood war unites you. 
tiefling, dwarf, and elf alike huddle behind the shields of your paladin order, waiting for salvation. But when it comes, disunity, the returned city casts your people out, the devils who drag them down to hell. In the end, it is not your paladin oath that is broken. It is your faith itself. We're going to have to let them out. Any other mind flayers? Yeah, plenty. Hold on. If we're going to fight mind flayers, we've got to pick up more intelligence. A plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. Killer sweetheart. Risky ring. I've been using that a lot, but... It would be a bad idea to do so. Instead, I'm going to look through my rings and equip a few new ones. I've got one that was... Oh, what was it called? Where is it at? A true mind? I'll have to look for it. But I'm going to put on my headband. There it is. That should do it. Who could use a bit more intelligence? Allison, you could. Medium armor. No, that wouldn't be for you. Shadowheart. Let's get on with it. Yeah, do that. Perfect. We've got to stay safe. That's what we're going to do. Let's get everyone into a decent position as well. I'm going to prepare the battlefield. Then we'll have a look at that apparatus. If we're going to let out our friends, well, our one friend, we'll have new friends. Like that one fellow, that one person who killed a bunch of goblins. Then we're also going to have mind flayers. Your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flayer in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. We know what to do. Not purge, but release. They're free. Mole isn't here though. I wonder where Mole is at. Haste. Let's use it. Yeah, try to hit him. Couldn't do it, huh? <laughs> you fool. Perfect. Edrahil, you've got a thunderous smite. Knock a mind flayer prone. You couldn't do it. You've been charmed. Oh no. Alright, if I can't hit you, that's okay. I'm not going to use haste. I'll just move over here. You know what? Time for a divine smite. First. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. That was a lot of damage. Another one? Sure. Level 2 divine smite. We've got a short rest we're able to take. And gone. Heck yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, haste. Let's move again. Charmed or not, we're able to kill his friends. A pushing attack. Oh, if only we could knock it back. Shoot anyway, for fun. 15 damage. You can't charm me. I'm already charmed, you fool. This is my time. As for Halson, look at that. He's a tiger. Let's go after the one that charmed Edrahill. Knocked prone anyway. <laughs> Good job. Two attacks. Devastating two. He's done. Holding back. Will? can't move right by it. You could jump, so do that. Alright, you can't act again. You're fine. In turn, Shadowheart, let's take out that Mind Flayer. You're going to be very good when it comes to intelligence, wisdom. I'm not sure about charisma. No, I'm not sure. Bring out a spiritual weapon. A great axe. Done. Next, Attack. It's very simple. Let's do it. A radiating orb. Divine strike afterwards. And charmed again. So be it. Enough. My mind is my own. 
Holy crap, Zevlor. He's mad. A searing smite. Great job. Oh, no way. He's crushing it. Levitate. What a show off. That was some bad damage, but everyone is still alive. Attack. You got it. 14 damage. Good job, spiritual weapon. Yeva. Charge in. 18 damage. Frightened too, but also charmed. Yeah, I thought I had my ring. There's a ring that provides me advantage against being charmed, or maybe I can't be charmed. I can't remember. I got it from that one friendly mind flayer. I haven't used it for a long time. Wow. Will was nearly taken down. They hit hard. Get over here, Shadowheart. Use your bow. No, don't use your bow. That won't do it, huh? You can't jump there. Sacred Flame. Uh-uh. Guiding Bolt, maybe. Sure. 14 damage. I'll take it. Not a lot, but I'll take it. In turn, let's go after that one Mind Flayer right by Halston. A miss. Strike again. Prone. All right. Your final damage. Those two are stunned. Unfortunately, Edrahill is currently lethargic. Yeah, Mind Flayers, no matter what, they're always going to be a pain. No enemies close by. Yeah, just move. Let's move a little bit. What a good weapon. Her turn. A trip attack. 17 damage. 13 after that. A pommel strike. Dazed two. Don't get hit, Will. Be careful. An opportunity attack. Now he's prone. Good job, Shurga. Okay, Will. Hit away. You got it. A critical hit. Gone. Dark One's Blessing. Drink a potion. You're feeling fine. Shadowheart. Who do we have? Yeah, use your mace. Time to meet your maker. Hells. I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. Zevlor. Watching gods. The Blade of Frontiers. Will? What happened? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. And shouldered the cost to spare someone else a worse fate, I'd wager. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. About that. I'm not going to be cruel to him. I could. But I've got to find out some information. They found refuge, but what the hell's happened out there, Zevlor? You've heard some of it, I'm sure. That I froze, or broke, or some other lie that is kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard her, their false god, whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again. With a god's purpose, a god's power. Everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me, while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. You're kidding me. Oh no. Alright. Your people didn't need a paladin. They were able to save themselves. They did? Oh sweet gods. I have no right to feel it, but I am proud of them. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. Descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. Maybe a good idea. I don't need his blade, but I think he should find his own people. They need him. They have you. Go, my friend. Please, let me do this much. All right, fine. Edrahill leveled up. Heck yeah. 
which means everyone else is pretty close too. All right, cool. He was able to patch up. A good sign. Better not die. He's got a lot to answer for. It's better for him to fight than anything else. I would normally allow him to join us, but I don't want to have to watch out for him. If he's about to be killed, I'll do anything to save him. It's often what we do. Well, unless I've got to kill Thorm. Between the two, that's a really hard choice. A level 10 Paladin. A class feature. What is it? Oh, okay, another charge for my Lay on Hands. And another action. You and any nearby allies can't be frightened. The aura disappears if you fall unconscious. Permanent. Nice, another aura. Okay. We're in decidedly unfamiliar territory now. Keep up the pressure and stay alert. We need to find Thorm. Agreed. Maybe one day we won't be drenched in blood. Very well. We could retire. Edrahill could become a blacksmith. A brine pool. Gross. Brain brine. Not my favorite phrase. Brine pools. But empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. Yeah. I wonder, is it able to catch on fire? Or should I not touch it? Maybe I shouldn't touch it. I shouldn't have done that. I was curious. Don't worry. Do? We've got plenty of water. I've got so much water. We use it to bathe. We use it to get rid of caustic brine. And it looks like we found the asset. Yeah, the one to the left, it's empty. Let's wash up. You two will. Perfect. Never Let's go see what it is or who it is. That pod. Mazora, what? Mazora, your Zariel's asset. My dumb little stinker. Took you long enough. Now. My Grazit's cock get me out of this thing! I'll do it, and you'll set me free. That was the deal. Yeah, yeah. So, get to it, already. What attitude. If we've got to, I could do it. The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. That's right. Let's look at the other devices. The one on the left. The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. She would just go back to the hells. What about the right? You decipher the symbol. It's an illithid sigil, meaning unleash. I've got a better choice. Gather your strength and smash your foot through the pod. <laughs> DC 14. Guidance. Let's go. I've done it. That's what my foot is for. Easy. You did all right, Will. I'd give your belly a good rub, but never could stand a smell. You're free, Mazora. I held up my end. Now you hold up yours. Sever the pact. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the Soulbinder consents to separation, she will release the Soul Bearer from all obligation within six months. Six months? Gods damn you! Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. Will, you need to read, buddy. Come on. But, hold on. You would think we would get some manner of reward for going through all that trouble. Eventually, Will is going to be free if he survives and if we all survive. A DC of 14. A 9. I've got inspiration, don't I? I do. A 20. Another one? Well, after jumping through all those hoops, a little treat wouldn't hurt. Oh. 
All that power. And to think you want to throw it away. Now, you've got business in the towers to take care of. Don't you fret. I'll find you soon enough. You're going to need me. Count on it. Oh, and go ahead. Tell your chums how we met. It's a real cracker of a tale. Ta-ta. I would like to know. And we had to get a treat for him. For Will. Mazora gifted Will an infernal rapier for his troubles. Though, she required some convincing. 5 to 12 damage. High spell casting. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC. I like what we have more. For Will, I mean. Melee caster. Instead of its dex modifier. Okay, so you use your spell casting ability modifier to attack rolls. And you also get to summon a cambion. Nice. I'll use it, maybe eventually. I'll think about it. Let's talk to Will. Zariel's asset was none other than Mazora herself. Of course. Tricks on top of tricks on top of tricks. But I've only got six months before I made a free man. Thanks be to the triad. No, scratch that. Thanks be to you. Thank you. That's true. But buddy, Will, you were none too clever, huh? Come on. You've got to really think about what you're doing and don't trust her. You always seem to trust her. Mazora said you can talk about your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. First, we kill Ketherick Thorm. Then, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Anything more we should discuss? That was largely it. Let's leave. Where do we get to go now? We'll have a what further conversation once we're done here. So, there's another door. Let's open that up. Do we need to rest up? I don't know, do we? Hold on. That's a pretty interesting room. There it is. Do we want to go there? Maybe not yet. Hold on. There's another pathway we could take. Let's go back. Yeah, down south. We'll go to the east. I'm trying to take my time. I'm trying to investigate every area. As I always say, every nook and cranny. And it's not too far away. It wouldn't take too much time. We might find more treasure. Another nasty little brain. They're like very intelligent flies. They're just everywhere. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Get back over here. You're not allowed to move away. Okay, that's great. We all leveled up. Let's have a look. Helsin, you go first. A level 10 druid. 83 HP. A new level 5 spell slot. And improved wild strike. You can make two additional attacks after making an unarmed strike while in wild shape. Nice. New cantrip. I've picked out poison spray. It requires a con save. Some okay damage. And a new action. We're able to turn into a Dilophosaurus. Corrosive Spit is able to dissolve a target's armor class. Nice. And hold on. Other actions. Look at that. Air, earth, fire, and also water. We've got options. For Shadowheart, 83 HP, two new features, another level five spell slot, and divine intervention. You can cast divine intervention to invoke your god's aid. Once used, it can never be used again. Interesting. I wonder when I could use it and how I should use it. Incredible. A new cantrip, I'll take light. You could always use a good light. Our only multi-class character. Oh, and don't worry. I gave Will his blade. He's got to use it. It's special. But it is from Mazura. A level 7 warlock. A level 3 fighter. 87 HP. A new invocation. For his spell, I'm giving him fire shield. It could be pretty handy whenever he's moving into melee combat. We could replace a spell, but we don't need to. For our invocation, we're going to pick up Dreadful Word. You can cast Confusion with a Warlock spell slot. I would rather not use one, but we have options again. 
I didn't find too much more. We're not moving to the east. As I did mention before, we're checking out everything. I'm glad we came back and went through. There were only two minions to kill, but I had to. Let's get everyone together. Who's here? Mag Tubage, <laughs> Iron Finger, Harry Henry, and Cressa Bone Daughter, Mistress of Souls. I could preemptively kill them, but we've got to talk to the villains, I think. General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. I'm glad we did that. Her outfit, it's, uh, inspired. I like her hat. We're not gonna lie to her. We're going to attack. Let's begin. Edrahill, I'm gonna have you go first. No, instead, a fireball. Yeah, we'll have fun. Got him. Ooh, that's painful. Time to push now Edrahill gets to move in. May the gods take you first. Ah. Not quite dead, aren't you lucky? Let's hit Harry Henry. What a name. A bonus attack. Two are dead. Shadowheart. Use hold person. Level three. Let's get Iron Finger and Cressa. Or they're too far. Or one's too far. Just move up. You'll get it. Don't worry about it. We'll try again. We got them. All right. Now we get to take our time. Halson, you've got to jump. Get really, really close. We're going to try out his form later, the new one he got. Well, he got quite a few. But I want him to be a dinosaur. A critical hit. You can't do anything about that. Another one after that. Keep on attacking. Holy crap. Good job, Halson. And he's done. This is my time. Well, Coming I know. Through. It is. We haven't found your father. I'm beginning to worry that he's not here. Well, so much for peace. We didn't get a lot of information. Not even the worms will want your carcass once I'm done with you. Are you talking crap? You're prone. You can't do anything. You idiot. All right, time for a melee attack. Let's get her. One more. And it's over. Allison hits pretty hard. I like that. Whenever he's at a spell slot or whenever we just need him to hit some individual targets, that's a great thing to do. What do you have, Cressa? That mace again. That's it? Come on. There's got to be some loot around here. A severed arm? Nope. Another mind. And garbage. There's a few nooks, so we could check that out. I'm not stealing. What do you mean? There's no one here to steal from. A long sword. Some boots. A letter from Ironfinger. Let's check it out. She's... She's going to put one in me any day. Cressa, who was initiated at the very same hour as I all those years ago. She's going to put a parasite in my ear when I sleep. Yuck. A bit of infighting, huh? Oh, there could be some stuff down here. If not, we're just gonna read. What a crazy chair. Can I take it with me? I could sell it, I'm sure. A scroll of blink, only available in combat. Harry Henry's journal. These slick innards, these fluid chambers. How long have we been here, making thralls? I don't want to any longer. Oh man. Tragic. Poor Harry Henry. A few more rooms to check out. They didn't get to do too much, huh? They just got to die. Another chest. Alchemical ingredients. We've got a log. Day four. Again, I have noted a fluid leakage from the oral cavity and have ascertained the cause. Due to the unusual method of parasitic insertion, the secretions of the creature within are leaking out. Nope, I'm done. What else do we have? Cressa's notes. I have seen a thousand ears. Some have the reflexes of twitch when they know the worm is about to burrow. Yep, I'm done. I'm pretty done. We've got what? 
two more little areas. Only a lantern. A brain lantern. How many people have all of you killed? Maybe thousands. One more chest. A potion of flying. A scroll of fire shield. And one more journal. I remember our life as country surgeons back in Nashville. We only ever wanted to be the best. To learn how to staunch any mortal wound. How did we get here? Damn. What a story. I nearly feel bad for killing them, but they have fallen. They've been making thralls. Let's go back to that last door. Yeah, we'll come down here and finally move east. No long rest. That's a tough one. We could use a short rest. Let's do that. And how far is he? Not too far away. Two more intellect devourers to kill, right? Good. Not mind players. Who has a dinosaur? We have a dinosaur. I love it so much. We've got to use it. We've got to. Actually, Halson, you'll take point. Time for a snack. Let's go do it. Got it. Not bad. All right, Will. Today you you've fall. got your special blade. One more to kill. Can you do anything else? Yeah, use your bow. Whoa, what a critical hit. Pretty darn good. Edrahill, you'll jump down, right? Oh, you'll fall prone. No, you won't do that. Just move up and use your bow. I didn't know Edrahill would end up using a bow, but if it's able to use his strength modifier, we've got to. I must have shipped thousands of true souls through here. Really then? How much farther can I go? Yeah, we're coming to the very end. A fresh mind. So many minds. Two skeletons, a candle. Nothing I need. Wait, hold on. Look, that restoration thing. The last time we saw one was where? The Nautiloid. That was a very long time ago. We don't need to long rest. I was fine having to push on. We're going down. Let's is do it. Else's tadpoles squirming around a lot more than usual? Maybe so. It's almost like it's excited by something. Drawn to it. And we're here. No loot. Only enemies to kill. It's been a long time coming, but I'm ready. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. I can't wait to see it. Time to enter. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. 
We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Thor! of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Whom preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Shit, no! Father! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way! From head to toe, Halson is inspired. More experience, very important. Thorm, he's already hurt, but he's invulnerable. He was able to capture the Night Song once more. I wish she kind of just, I don't know, stayed away. We had it under control. We didn't need her. We only needed her to just stay away from him. That way he wouldn't be invulnerable. Undead to the left. Intellect Devourers 2. And a Mind Flayer. If we can make it over to the Night Song, Played that already. would help out a lot. Do I have another potion of invisibility? If I don't, that's alright. Yeah, that's okay. A potion of flying, that could do it. I'll think about it. Still For now, alive. though, Adrahil, so you know what we need to do. Don't waste a step. Run up, say hi. It's what he does best. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Boy howdy. That's how you know a villain is having a bad time. It's when they don't shut up. I'm here to snuff out your whole evil plot, and you along with it. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then 
take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. All right, we're done talking. Let's get to it. With pleasure. With Getting nowhere fast. He'll never die while Night Song's still caged. You're not wrong. Thorm, how much could you do at the moment? That's a good question. Edrahill, you've got to be able to move away. I don't want him taking damage. Let's see, could you Misty days. step away? That would be a great start. You can. Perfect. Do it now. After that, attack. A level one smite. Hit hard. Not bad. Thankfully, he wasn't charmed. Attack again. Another level one smite. You're done for the moment. End your turn. Will, you get to move. A potion of flying, not needed. A misty step, do that instead. A bright idea. The mind player is target number one. What a terrible threat. Get to blasting. Three shots. Nice work. Action surge. Let's do it. Perfect. We could use hunger. We could do that. But what about a fireball? We've got to reduce their numbers. They've got too many on their side. Good job. A Dark One's Blessing, even better. We took out two. Okay, turn on Dark One's own luck. In turn, Halson, you get to move now. We need to slow down Thorm. We're able to do that. Very fire, a fun one. But instead, what about a wall? We could wall him off. We could do that. We could use a Locust Plague. But I don't want to hit the Night Song once she's free. Spike Growth. A very simple spell. Let's do it. Yeah, we know. Shillelagh time. You get to move up. Shadowheart. You have one purpose at the moment. Misty Step. Take out the Necromites. She'll be able to do so alone. What a great character. She's really superb. Turn Undead. Don't worry, I'll play again another campaign. Every single one has been turned. We've got so many stories to tell, so many characters to try. I haven't tried too many other characters or classes, so it'll all be new to me outside of what I've done for our companions. Difficult terrain. What a great spell. Very simple. Deadly orders. Focus your attack, soldiers. These are your soldiers? They are terrible. One Necromite destroyed by Shadowheart. The other three are fleeing. Great. Will, I want you to act. Could you jump over here? You can. Very good. Free the Night Song. I was hoping that Halston would have more lines. He was trying to find the Night Song. He also wanted to destroy Thorn, but he's not said too much. She's free, we've done it. Even better. Good job, Will. Where do I go from here? That means we get to go after Thorn. Halston, why don't you use a spell? Heat metal, that's a good one. Cause a metal weapon or armor to glow red hot. Oh, hold on. He does have a different weapon. It showed his Warhammer in the cutscene, but we made him drop his Warhammer. So we got that. I wonder what he's using now. I don't know. All right, here it goes. Level two casting. Please work. He was able to make his save. Unfortunate, but he does have disadvantage. That's okay. End your turn. Use a potion. We've got to top off. This is my time. Will, you're done. 
Shadowheart, you are not. Go after the undead. Yeah, move closer. Just over here. <laughs> 11 and 12 damage. She gets close, they fall apart. Bring out your spiritual weapon. Yeah, do that. Right by him. Even better. Then a sacred flame. Don't dodge it. Perfect. 17 damage. She's done. She got them all. Edrahil, it's your turn. Move over here. Attack. I know, it's very dangerous, but we've got to. A miss. Divine Smite. Level 1. You don't deserve 3. You're already hurt. I can't believe it. A boss battle where he's already injured. That makes it easy. These two, they're going after Halson. I'll have him wild shape. 11 damage, unfortunately. A blinding smite. Edrahill was nearly brought down. Thorm nearly got him. He's got the patch up. Here comes Night Song. Dashing over. She's going after the adds first, right? Perfect. Good. Alright. Here's what we'll do. You've got to move over. Come over here, Will. You're not able to jump. Unfortunate. He's not very strong. That's okay. A potion of flying. That'll do. Fly over. There it is. We could use our blast. Bring out your cambion. Another minion on her side. I wish I could name him, but I cannot. You're done. Halson, it's your turn. Time to wild shape. Sure, do that. Let's bring out the tiger. No, actually. There we go. A water myrmidon. Let's do that. I've not used it before. Oh, that's really cool looking. We've got an icicle. You're able to hurl three. Very cool. Unfortunately, the dame is here. We'll use a melee attack. Let's do that. One gone. Hit another. Okay. Now you get to fly up. Time to attack Thorm. We'll do it all together. He's blinded. Use your strike here. War God's Blessing. You hit, but you didn't deal a lot of damage. You're done. Ready. Okay, Shadowheart. I want you to move over here. She's able to jump. Good. I think right now, we need to use Bless. Yeah. We need to bless so many. I could wait for the Moon Maiden. I also want to bless Will. That can't happen yet. Spirit Guardians. That would help out. Let's use it. Radiant damage. Perfect. Move up. Still blinded. End your turn. But to keep going. Unfortunately, Edrahil, you need to use a potion. There's one. Not really sufficient. After that, lay on hands. You finally get to use it. 40 healing. Great. Do it. All right. You don't get to attack. Not yet. Thorm, you're blinded. So Edrahil, he's going to move back. You can't do anything about it in turn. He's moving up. Opportunity attack. Very nice. He's trying to bring over another minion, but Shadowheart got it. What was that? Dreadful aspect. Here comes Night Song. She hits hard, I know that. She's missed twice, three times. All four times, whoa. Well, spiritual weapon, your turn. Seven damage, you didn't miss. All right, Will, time for you to blast. Do it now. You're kidding me. That's okay. I'm not going to debuff him. Not yet. You're done for the moment. Back over to Halson. Keep on striking. Unfortunately, you are frightened. Yeah, you can't do too much. Yeah. So instead... What about your icicle? No, that would be a bad idea. 
Strike anyway, try to. A miss. Again, one more time. Sure, that's all right. What about Shadowheart? She's not scared. She's not. Divine Strike. All right, we're close to winning. We're not there, not yet. In turn, push my luck again. Edrahill, you finally get to move in. But before you do that, use a potion. Now he's fine. All right, you get one level three Divine Smite. Let's go, only one. We got him. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. An understatement, Shadowheart. An understatement. Over 500 HP. Okay, we don't need to group up, no. In fact, we need to divide up. Have to keep going. Move by will. A level three Divine Smite. Attack, do it now. Executioner, a critical hit. Good job. 424 HP out of 507. Okay, Cambion. Move over to the left. All I know is that we don't want to just group up. You've got your rays of fire, but you're too close. Swing and a miss. Somehow we missed. Oh no, it gets to move. What is it gonna do? A devastating attack. It only hit the dame. She's moving back now. She's coming. Bone chilled. What does that do? I can't remember. A lunar smite. Good job. Yeah, great work. All right, spiritual weapon. You were hit too, but attack. So bone chilled. Cannot regain hit points. Oh boy. Eight damage. Will, it's your turn. Use hex. Do that. I'll switch him back to his hammer after we're done with our battle. No, use a melee strike. Nice work. Another. Even better. Okay. Halson, you'll attack too. Another critical hit. Use your special ability. You've done it. There it is. All right. One more after that. We are hitting hard. I feel good. I feel really good. Shadowheart, your turn again. You've got your Guiding Bolt. Oh man, I wish it had a higher chance to hit, but it doesn't. Okay, melee attack. Divine Strike. And you're done. Oh, hold on, you're not done. Healing Word. Let's use a level three on the Moon Maiden. 
Right, right, bone chilled. I completely forgot. I just said it, but there it is. Level two smite. Come on, Nedrahill. Another smite after that. Thankfully, it's blinded. A bonus attack. Come on. Oh, we're so close. The Cambion. And we're all done. Ouch. Poor Halston. He was hit. She might take it down. I think she did it. She did. It's over. My sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. Wow. Inspiration. That was brutal for one. What an intense character. No kidding. A long rest would be great. But let's see. We beat him. We killed him. Still alive. We need to have a look Still around. Forever. Sure. In death, the body is cooling. That energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable, truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it, our enemies are formidable. Hold on. How are you here? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Okay. Tell me about Catherick. He transformed. I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Catherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death. And our enemies are chosen of the dead three. Okay, tell me about that. 
Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together, and with those stones, and that crown, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Fighting an avatar of Merkel, that wasn't on my list of things that could happen. What a revelation. The Act 2 finale, it's incredible. Okay. What about the stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. I've got other questions. Edrahil wouldn't lose faith. We took down an avatar. Clearly we're powerful. And yeah, we're getting that point in D&D, &D, or to that point in D&D &D where we're beginning to fight incredible, crazy things. Imagine level 20. It feels almost like a level 20 plot. If we're fighting a threat to the world, that's incredible. Anyway, what do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives. And the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power. Ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Good to know. She's gone now. What do we have here? Yeah, I got rid of his weapon, but he was able to hit so hard. Reaper's Embrace. Very rare heavy armor. Magical Plate. All incoming damage is reduced by two. Let's see, another effect. When activated, you can't be moved against your will by any spell or action, but have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Howl of the Dead. Alright. We've got it. His Shield. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. A good one. A note. Let's check it out. Papa, I love you. Love from IZ. Oh, very sad. We're not done. Not yet. Let's have a look around. Are there any letters for me to look at? That's my question. Any other letters? We'll leave very soon. Over here. Invasion plans. One amulet. Okay, the grand design. The absolute end. An invitation to Lord Gortash. That's everything, I hope. I didn't see too much else. Alright. It's time to go. We've done all that we can for the moment. We won. Do we finally get to rest? Maybe so. I've been thinking of all that you learned below. If you've got your breath, we ought to discuss our next steps. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain bound by lost netherese magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. You've tangled with the dead three before. Extensively. 
Mind flares, too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone, and you're on the scent of two more. These Chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Okay, sure. I'll be glad to have you by my side, but let's get more information. You want to join me? Of course. Falling foul of Ketherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. I'll see you at camp. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? Not so bad. With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders as well as give them. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. We are. The cult has Ravenguard. Where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. No kidding. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. He's got some power. Good to know. It might make it difficult to reach him. Mazora said you can say what led to your pact and exile. Tell me. Yes, but first, a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I would give my life. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Ravenguard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. Tell me about that cult. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the Dragon Tiamat. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Yet, not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. You know what, Will? Use your words, not the tadpole. I'll paint the clearest picture I can. Below the mount, I saw five totems with dragon heads carved on top. Each head held a massive orb in its jaws. Around each totem, five robed figures were chanting. First softly, then loud as a banshee's wail. 
There was a crack of thunder and a gust of wind. A storm descended, and one of Tiamat's five heads appeared from within it. That's when I felt Mazora's lips against my ear and heard that same canny whisper. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it. She read the terms while two devils stood witness, and I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. That's it? Okay. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Well, you were very brave. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. I've learned so much already. Is that how you lost your eye? In the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. All right, we're done for now. We've spoken to him. Let's talk to Halson. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. If only you were willing to help me in Act 1. Imagine fighting all those goblins but were able to control the battlefield. What about the curse? When will it go away? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. Alright. What about Oliver? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again in my meditations, or perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Me too. What now? You've got what you wanted, after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. I'm glad to have you. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Oh dear. I have a feeling he's fond of me. We'll talk to Shadowheart. She might not have more to say. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shark can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. No kidding. 
I'm not going to ask how she's feeling. What about a few matters? I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Very well. We'll leave. Who else could we talk to? We've got the night song. We've got Art close by. And also Withers. We'll talk to him first. It's been a bit. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? I don't know. Do they? Whenever there's a long pause, I never know when to chime in. I know that Larian's been improving that. Alright. Hold on. I'm not sure, but really, I haven't thought about it. Thou shalt think about it now, and I shall give the answer. Mind flares are soulless. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Very good. I am surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Now speak plainly. Isn't there more you can tell me? No. Can't make it easy, huh? You seem to know a lot about the Dead Three. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods shudder. That's a lot. Let's go. Alright, who's up here? I actually don't know. Alfira? I didn't find Mole. That's interesting. Let's talk to the lesser characters. Well, that's mean. The secondary ones. The supporting cast. Back in last light, I was wrecking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I hear. Didn't think we'd make it without the old L Rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. I didn't find Zevlor. I don't know if he's here. I did free Zevlor down in the colony. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off as dead. I would. He didn't have any fight left in him. He went his own way. I don't think he could face me, or all of you. The briefest hesitation, as Saris wars with old loyalties, and wins. I looked up to him. We all did. But he let us down when we needed him most. There are less mouths to feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge what we can. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the city. I'm sure you will. Now for Alfira. You're here. Good. That's good. Are you okay? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. More are still missing. And they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. They probably are. But I'm sure they appreciate it. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But 
It's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. Very kind of her. If only she could join us. Now for the kids. Why, yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. Okay. Are you going to talk about Mole? Maybe another one. Althea is writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Mole back. Tell her, won't you? I won't, no. One more child. Miss Alfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Mole. I get it. I do. Alright, who else can we talk to? There's Art. He's close by. A few Harpers. Very few remain. I mean very few. It's like when Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he sought out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. No, thank you. Baldurian, a background response. I grew up hearing stories of Duke Elton. I'm curious about what he was like. Gruff and intimidating. But he had the courage of ten men. And the love for Baldur's Gate few could match. I don't know if this Duke Ravenguard is the same. But I will say this. The Flaming Fist are the cornerstone of the city. And the Dukes are its foundation. I hope you can save him. For the good of Baldur's Gate. Me too. Come with me. I could use a flaming fist by my side. <sighs> Thank you. But look at me. I am a relic. A glimpse of history barely strong enough to stand on his own two feet. Besides, Thaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. Very fair. All right. Hold on, hold on. After Thaniel awakens? I don't think there will be an after. The truth is, the shadow fell. Broke something inside me. Something no healer can fix. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So... Thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. Very good. That poor man. I feel so bad for him. Now for the night song. Sure. Aelin! Isabel! Dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, he he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. I'll just wait here. Don't mind me. Oh, there you are. This is Aelin. 
island this is. Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? You should. Welcome. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. <laughs> Alright. I don't blame them. Is it time for a long rest? Maybe so. Yeah, we should go back. They need to bury the dead. They've got more to do. But hold on. What's on the map? Ah, uh, right. We would need to head over to Baldur's Gate. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Absolutely. Let's look at a few other options. Whatever you must do, I will be by your side. Thank you. But I want you to refrain from foolish heroics. When the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. What is it? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Okay. I wonder what it is. <laughs> I'm a bit curious, a bit scared too. Is there anyone else to talk to? If not, we're going to rest again and again. Again, I just want to ensure that we're not missing anything at all. No way. Look at her hair. I like it a lot. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? I love it. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. No kidding. One more event done. Alright. No one else to chat with. Keep on trying to trigger a new event. If not, we'll go over my build. Just a little bit. No new events triggered. And for now, I'll switch back to the charge bound Warhammer. Altogether, it hits hard. We just need to bind it. There it is. Look at that. 10 to 22 damage. If I use a few other items, it could hit even harder. He's got a caustic band, 2 acid damage. Ring of Arcane Synergy. When you deal damage with a cantrip, like our blast, you gain Arcane Synergy for 2 turns. For his amulet, he takes twice the bludgeoning damage, but half the slashing damage. We don't see a lot of hammers, do we? Not too much. Boots of Stormy Clamor. Whenever we inflict a condition upon a hostile creature, they get two turns of reverberation. That ties into my cloak. Whenever a creature has it, the creature needs to make a constitution saving throw or become dazed. For his armor, flawed held dusk armor. When you are hit by a foe within two meters, it might take one to four damage. You take one less piercing damage. I could find much better gear for him. Sure. Let's check out what we got from Thorm. Let's see. Looks pretty good. A bit too evil for him, but it looks pretty good. For his bow, he gets resistance to fire and also cold damage. What am I for Shadowheart, you know about her build. I would rather give her a different cloak, but we need to find one. Really, the cornerstone would be about using Radiating Orb. Debuffing your enemies, it's so darn powerful. Use one AoE and they're not going to be able to hit you, not easily. Of course, 
She's got her mace, a legendary mace. We got that from the crash. That's another cornerstone. What about Halson? Halson, he's all about spell casting now. We don't need to worry about his stats when he uses his wild shape. But whenever he's a spellcaster, I want him to hit hard. A fist breaker helm. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC. We've got cloak of protection, plus one to armor class, and also a saving throw. A robe of exquisite focus, plus one bonus to spell save DC again. Hellrider's pride. When you heal another creature, it gains resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Then evasive shoes. Acrobatics, armor class, for a necklace, free healing spells. I like that. A ring of mental inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. Because we've got so many AoE spells, that's a nice one to use. What else do we have? Whispering Promise. When you heal a creature, you gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and also saving throws. And I gave him a hunting short bow. You've got advantage against monstrosity type enemies. For his staff, Melf's first staff. Plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. I've shown you the shield, but again, he's able to do a lot. 20 spell save DC, plus 10 to spell attack. He's a moon druid. I might try another build in our next part. I might change up quite a few builds. Not for Edrahill. Finally, Edrahill. I changed up his stats quite a bit. We had one elixir of Cloud Giant Strength. That brought us up to 27 strength. But I'll probably respec him again to boost it over to 20 strength. I'm going to change up a few feats. He's got Great Weapon Master. What else do we have? I don't want to forget. Ah, here we go. Savage Attacker. When making melee weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. Beyond that, we've got Boots of Striding. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum for one turn. While you are concentrating, you can't get knocked prone or be moved against your will. We've got so many concentration spells, that's not difficult. I dumped my dexterity stat, meaning that I put no points into it because we've got our gloves. So we have 18, a plus one to my attack. Dwarven Splint Mal. I like it so much because we get a plus two to constitution. That makes us quite hardy. I've went over my cloak before. Flawed Held Dusk Helmet. The Wilder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. And as you know, I only have one multi-class character. That's Will. I like monoclassing. I think in our following campaign, whatever we do next, then maybe I might multi-class, if not with my main character, then with more of our companions. What else do we have? Oh, right. I should keep a few more spare rings and also amulets. I've got some that are able to restore spell slots very handy, but I've got a subjugation amulet. Whenever I score a critical hit on a humanoid, I'm able to paralyze them. After that, kill their sweetheart. When you kill a creature, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. You've seen it pop up a lot, but here's a very important ring. Risky attack. You gain advantage on attack rolls and receive disadvantage on saving throws. That part is difficult, but I believe I might be wrong, but I would like to believe that because we've got so many other bonuses, maybe it'll counter that for a few of my stats. What else do we have? Ah, right. A Titan String Bow. This weapon deals additional damage equal to your strength modifier. That's awesome. Only 20 AC. I need to get it a bit higher. If we change up our very heavy Dwarven Splint Mel, we could do that. But once more, I like my plus four to con. You've seen my halberd. That extra force damage, it does a lot. I could give him a few other items to help him hit harder, but our current build, it's gone very well. Plus one to initiative. Also, let's see. When you make an attack roll as a reaction, you make it with advantage. I might give him the sentinel feet, I'll think about it, but that's what he has. And because I've been monoclassing, there's not too much to go over with my spells. You're able to see how we function in combat throughout the campaign. That's really it though. That's what I have. It's just really about using item combinations together, trying to figure out different ways to do that. 
there's people who know what to do, who know what to do a lot more than I do. But I like to build for fun, and it works out, and I try to be thematic. I try to really build things according to a character. I felt like for Char, not Char, Shadowheart, you could build a war cleric that follows Char. That works out. That's okay. All right. We're done here for today. Make sure that you do leave a like and comment right down below. I know we had a lot of conversations in the latter part of our video, but that's a major part of the game for me. I want to get to know everyone. I want to hear every little thing, or most of it. 